I was at Mardi Gras last weekend, and I got a bunch of beads from parades. No, I didn't lift my shirt for them. And a friend of mine had a balcony on, on Bourbon Street, and so we were on it on a Friday night, and the swarms of people just stretched for over a mile. It, it was a mob, and no one could walk, and the crowd just kind of carried you through. And, and all of the men expected women to get naked for them for beads. And from my balcony, I could see every few minutes a series of flash pops, couples with a roar from the crowd, so I knew that a woman somewhere lifted her shirt for the screaming masses. I refused, however, to strip for drunk strangers when I knew they all expected me to, being on a balcony and all. So men would look up at me and stretch out their arms, looking up inquisitively as if to ask whether or not they could have some beads from me or if I would just strip. And since I wasn't stripping and I had plenty of beads, I decided to turn the tables and see if men would accept the same conditions they asked of these women. When they looked up at me for something, I would say, drop your pants. <laughs> and they would look up at me confused because the women are supposed to be the ones doing the stripping but in general I got two responses from the men one was that they'd look at me like I was crazy and then walk away or they would shrug as if to say okay and then they just start unzipping their pants <laughs> and then they'd make a gesture to turn around as if to ask do you want to see my butt <laughs> And I would yell, the front! And so then they would say, okay, and they just start going and, and working at their pants, and they'd drop their pants and their underwear to their knees, and then they'd start moving their hips, which I never asked for, by the way. Yeah. So, so over the course of the evening, I managed to get at least 20 men to strip like this for me, and I was amazed that there was this society, this microcosm of society that allowed this kind of debauchery in the streets, a sort of prostitution for plastic beads form of capitalism. <laughs> so I was reveling in this bizarre annual ritual when this man, average to everyone else, wearing a gray and minding his own business, decided to look up at me. So I asked him to drop his pants, and instead of disgustingly leaving or unwillingly obliging, he crossed both hands in front of his chest and looked up at me as if to ask, you want me to do what? You naughty, naughty girl. <laughs> and he smiled and looked up at me, and it occurred to me that I finally found someone in this massive crowd that thinks the way I do. And now, New Orleans has a population, from what I hear, of about one million, but during Mardi Gras there are like nine or ten million people there, and all I could think was that of all these people here, I finally found someone who wouldn't blindly do what I asked, but at the same time wouldn't think I was crazy for asking. Of course, as I looked at him, I also happened to think that he was stunning. <laughs> By far the best looking man I'd seen there all night that entire time. He looked like he had style, he had self-confidence, but then again, I'm nearsighted and was on a balcony drunk in New Orleans on Mardi Gras. So we hit an impasse when he wouldn't strip and neither would I, so his attention was eventually diverted to other balconies. But I noticed for the next half hour that he never left from under my balcony, and every once in a while he would turn around and look up at me. Oh boy, I was thinking the entire time. I knew this is no way to start a relationship. Hell, I'm sure the guy lives nowhere near me, and we probably haven't even had a real actual conversation together. But he's damn near perfect. And all these times, all these people were screaming and partying at Mardi Gras, and he would still occasionally turn around and make sure that I was still there. And finally, he looked at me, signaling that he had to move on with his friends, so I held up my index finger to, to make him wait, and then I threw a bunch of beads at him. Oh, pardon me, threw him because he was a good sport, putting up with my taunting and not giving in. But a part of me threw those beads because I saw in him that strong values and that sense of self-worth, sheer love of life, that desire to be alive that I possessed all along and was always been looking for in someone else. Thank you. <laughs> and